Hi, my name is Chris Higgins from Matrix Packaging. Uh, I cover the central United States from Kansas over to West Virginia. We are a manufacturer of vertical form fill seal machines for all types of flexible packaging. Our machines are made in the USA and can produce a variety of bag sizes from 2.75 inches to 18 inches wide. In our demos today, you'll see the variety of bag styles they can produce, including pillows, gusseted bags, and flat bottom bags. At Matrix, our relationship is not over when the sale is done. Our long-term partnership includes continuing support and collaboration with our customers, utilizing an in-house parts department and the largest service team strategically placed throughout the U.S., as well as continued sales support for our new equipment. We have extensive experience in many flexible packaging applications as we work within a multitude of industries, including bakery, snacks, candy, coffee, tea, disinfectants, and sanitizers, cold chain, meaning those gel and freezer packs, dried meats, IQF, pet foods and treats, pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, chemicals, and more. At Matrix, we can offer a series of standard machines based on years of experience, as well as custom tailored solutions of our highly efficient packaging systems dependent on your needs. We're committed to optimizing our flexible packaging solutions for our customers on a global scale. In order to do this, Matrix partners with and is the master distributor for FL Techniques Horizontal Form Fill Seal, INV Pack, Stick Pack and Sachet Machines, and Toyo Jidoki Rotary Pre-Made Pouch Machines. Matrix is a product brand of Promoc, a global leader in packaging line solutions, and as part of the Promoc Flexibles and Trays business line, we can help our packaging customers protect and grow the reputation and trust of their customers. Feel free to visit Matrix at www.matrixpm.com to learn more. Now we're going to be showing you our Matrix Mercury Vertical Form Fill Seal Machine. This is one of Matrix's most versatile machines and successfully packages products in multiple industries, as you'll see during the demonstration. We'll be showing you packaging in three industries, produce, snacks, and confection, as well as giving you a look at our Twin Mercury setup that can double your speed within a small footprint. We'll start with our mercury packaging one pound of fresh radishes followed by sunflower seeds, the mercury twin, and we'll end with packaging candy. You'll have time for some questions when we are finished with the machine demonstrations. Here's a Matrix Mercury machine packaging radishes. The product is fed into the top of the scale on a horizontal feeder. It's a 14 head Yamato scale in this case, making uh, combinations of buckets to make the proper weight. You can see the machine selecting three at a time to match target weight. The product is brought into the top, staged in feed buckets, weighed in weigh buckets, and discharge down the funnel into the bag. Here you can see buckets dumping down the funnel into the bag. And here we're down below. We're at the bottom of that tube. The jaws close in and make the seals on the top and bottom of the bag. Knife separates the two. Everything's computer controlled. Vacuum pull belts advance the bag. Vertical and horizontal seals make the seals, bags go off the belt. So here's another Matrix Mercury, this time packaging sunflower seeds or sunflower kernels. It again has a 14 head Yamato scale up above. Linear feed pans move product into feed buckets that stage the product. Weigh buckets at the bottom weigh the product, make a combination, drop down the funnel into the bag. This machine has a pro surveil camera on it 
so you, the operator from down below has a screen to watch what's going on up above. Film is fed off of a roll. This is a registered bag, so there's eye spots on the edge of the film. And as the machine feeds the film through, those eye spots are picked up by an electronic eye that register the bag and put the graphics in the right place. This machine has friction pull belts, as opposed to the optional vacuum pull belt we saw on the last machine. Pull belts advance the bag, vertical seal makes the seal, the jaws come in and make the end seals, and the knife separates the bags. Product is dropped into each bag from the scale up above every time the jaws close. This machine's making a three bag chain, that's programmable. Right on the touch screen of the machine. Finished bags go onto the conveyor and up and away for pack. Here's a twin Mercury. The twin tube machine is basically two machines in a common frame. This one's washed down, so the doors are perforated stainless steel rather than Lexan. There's some other differences too. Again, computer controlled. Film starts in the back of the machine, sped through the machine, past a printer station. This machine has printers on it. So you're seeing the black print, black letters on the clear film. Late date code, lot number, anything you'd like to print. There's an automatic edge guide on all of our machines to automatically track the film and keep it aligned. Twin machine, running two bags at the same time. Each side independent, you can run different things on each side, although generally the same things produced on both sides. Friction belts advance the film. Vertical seal bar makes the, the long seal, the vertical seal. Jaws close and make top and bottom end seals. Everything's controlled at the touch of a button on the touch screen. Here we just change the speed up to 100 a minute. The Mercury can make many different styles of bag. The standard pillow bag, of course. We can also do a gusseted bag with side tucks uh, or just a single side tuck, as some people are doing now. Flat bottom bag formed around a rectangular tube with proper tooling. And even the modified doy, again with special tooling, but is available as an option. Here's a system with a matrix mercury packaging Mike and I candies at 100 a minute. Registered film with eye spots. Goes through the machine, past the photo eye for registration over the forming tube. 14 head Yamato scale making discharges. Product goes down the funnel. As the bags formed over the shoulder, pulled by the pull belts sealed by the vertical seal bar. Jaws close, make the end seals as the product drops in. They're deflators at the bottom to flatten some of the headspace out of the bag. Bags onto the conveyor and away they go. Great job, Mark. Any questions? We do have a couple of questions, Chris. The first one is, what do I do, what do I have to do to change the bag length and width? Good question. So 
So our changeover is completely toolless. As far as changing the length, that's adjustable through the HMI uh, programmable. And the width would be a change out of the forming tube and film roll. The next question we have is what about maximum weight? Uh, weight is pretty dependent on the density of the product and what you can fit into the maximum bag size of the machine. So 12 inches wide, 15 inches long in a single pull, you can go longer. We have customized and customizable load shelf designs to support whatever weight you are planning to run. Okay, the next question we have is how fast can it run? Always a good question. So the Mercury can dry cycle empty bags at 120 a minute, 125 on a good day. Uh, true speed is really dependent on the product, the filler, the film, and the bag size. And we can talk about that um, when you would like to discuss your application. How difficult is it to learn how to operate the machine? You can talk to our service techs and other customers. Relatively easy compared to the industry standard is what we've heard. How about product types? Really, that's dependent on filler. So we partner with a multitude of filler companies and can yeah, challenge us because we can run pretty much anything. What bag length um, will this do in one pull? I think you mentioned it already. Right. So in a single pull of the pull belts, we can do a 15-inch long bag. You can go longer. That just depends on how much space is between the seal jaw and the floor or the conveyor that's taking it away. And you can always raise up the bagger depending on your ceiling height limitations and infeed equipment. Okay, how about um, wash down options? Can you talk a little bit about those? So our, we have three different levels uh, that we have standardized to. Our first is a dry level, which has Lexan doors and a stainless steel frame is standard. Our wash down level has wash down bearings and shafts, and then when you move into our more hygienic spec, it has a C-channel frame, uh, stainless doors and panels, slanted electrical cabinet. But really, we look at your application, work with your team to identify what really matters to you and build a customized machine to your needs. A question we quite frequently get is, what is the voltage in amps to run these machines? So our standard is 240. Single phase, 20, and then we can do step-down transformers or buck boost transformers, uh, but within that range is reasonable. Okay. Can you still buy parts for an older matrix? Absolutely. Our parts department will be doing a presentation tomorrow. Uh, our manager, Chris Scalone, works here at our headquarters in Sockville and is always excited and prepared to help out our customers keep their machines running. So the last question we have is, is a doozy. How long can I expect the machine to last? Well, Christine, very dependent on how you're treating your machine. Uh, the condition, the product, and what your sanitation department or your maintenance department, what kind of, what level of work they're willing to put in. We have machines in the field running well over 20 years uh, with the right care taken to them. As a rule of thumb, uh, 15 years is a reasonable estimate of useful life. All right, thank you for tuning in. Uh, to learn more about the Matrix Mercury or for additional information, feel free to go to our showroom at pe.show slash 300. And we have some demos coming up. Looking forward to seeing you then. Thank you.